के मध्यपुर पंचायत फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु पलडम फ्रॉम वेयर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज राइट नाउ उमड़ा है प्रधानमंत्री लिसन मोदी को सुनने के लिए और न सिर्फ सुनने के लिए बल्कि उनका दीदार करने के लिए आप देख रहे हैं कि उनके वाहन के आसपास किस तरह से लोग उमड़ पड़े हैं प्रधानमंत्री की एक झलक पाने के लिए जबरदस्त बड़ी संख्या में लोग प्रधानमंत्री का स्वागत करने के लिए मौजूद हैं और एक जबरदस्त स्टार टेकिंग पार्ट इन पब्लिक मीटिंग दिस इज अ रोड शो मार्किंग द एंड ऑफ तमिलनाडु बीजेपी चीफ के अन्नमलाय जैनमान एंड मक्कल पद यात्रा द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज इन पालाडम इन तिरुपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ तमिलनाडु फ्रॉम वेर दीज पिक्चर्स ऑन योर स्क्रीन आर लाइफ अलॉन्ग विद अन्नमलाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर द पार्ट ऑफ द रोड शो This is the public meeting तो marking the end of BJP chief K Annamalai's N Man and Makkal Padyatra. प्रधान मंत्री को सुनने के लिए और उनका स्वागत करने के लिए. This is the Padyatra organized by the BJP chief in Tamil Nadu K Annamalai, which has now entered its 234th constituency, Palladam in Tirupur. This is the last constituency and this marks the end of the Padyatra. The Prime Minister, as we speak, is holding a road show in Palladam to conclude the yatra. BJP Chief J P Nadda had earlier joined the yatra earlier, when it had complete, completed rather 200 constituencies earlier this month. This was flagged off by Union Minister Amit Shah, and today its last day is being concluded by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. My colleague Akshat are tracking those details, getting us more more on that story. Essentially, Akshat, the end man and Makkal is to the BJP says make Tamil Nadu free of dynastic politics, and today is the concluding day of the yatra. That's right. Uh, this particular yatra has covered all 234 constituencies, assembly constituencies in Tamil Nadu. Sneha, this is the 234th constituency over 100 days from July that we've seen the N Mani N Makkal yatra going on, led largely by the Tamil Nadu BJP chief Anna Malai, who you see there flanking Prime Minister Modi. But a sea of crowd that's uh, appeared there in Tirupur. This is very close to Coimbatore. The BJP is fancying their chances in West Tamil Nadu as well as in South. Tamil Nadu, which is why the choice of this constituency, the choice of this area also is extremely significant. The Prime Minister, of course, has been putting a great deal of focus on the South. We saw him earlier in Kerala and now also in Tamil Nadu. The N Mani N Makkal Yatra was largely done to send out a message of the accomplishments of the central government, really, in Tamil Nadu. And the BJP is really fancying their chances this time, especially in the upcoming elections as well. They believe that. the yatra has been a roaring success on the ground and they believe that because of this their vote share actually is going to significantly rise in the upcoming election sample this for example sneha in 2019 the vote share of the bjp in tamil nadu was just about 3% nearing 4% this time around for example our own survey is saying that the bjp's vote share could be somewhere near 15% now sources have told me also in the tamil nadu bjp that they're looking at it soaring a lot higher than that they believe that at the end of this yatra with the prime minister being here and the campaign going to only go up heat up in the coming weeks they believe that their vote share could be somewhere near 21 to 22% in which case it could also translate to seats now we'll have to see whether that actually happens on ground but there's no doubt that the bjp has been doing everything they can pulling all stops really in tamil nadu and a large part of that has also been ensuring that they have a face in tamil nadu which has been kind of lacking for the last many many Uh, years in Tamil Nadu, a state that's largely, you know, dominated by politics of larger-than-life leaders, of mass leaders. They've got that now in Annamalai, who the BJP, the Central High Command, also has largely been shaping to try and ensure that he gets this image of being a solid leader, who the people of Tamil Nadu can rely on. Besides, of course, ensuring that all of their banners have the pictures of the Prime Minister. So it's kind of, you know, a twin command that they're working on in BJP, where they focus on the Prime Minister's accomplishments. Men's coupled with ensuring they have a strong regional leadership, which has been lacking so far for the BJP in Tamil Nadu. Is that continues to be, you know, Akshita, its biggest challenge, doesn't it? As far as you rightly mentioned, Tamil Nadu is concerned. Unlike other states, here the leadership is 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 at a nascent stage, so to speak. With Anamalai, in fact, doing what he can to take on the DMK, isn't it? 
Very true, uh, uh, Sneha. You know, he's been creating the right noise. He's been making headlines. There's no doubt about any of that. But having said that, you know, will it translate to electoral success? That's the biggest test for him. That's why the upcoming elections are extremely crucial. The last time when he contested in assembly elections, he fought from Arva Kuruchi, uh, which interestingly is where the Enman Yen Makkal Yatra reached on its 100th day. So it was clear that, you know, he wanted to drive that particular point across that he's not shying away from an electoral fight from that very seat. He lost in that constituency. So personally for him to prove his metal, whether he contests in this election is still a big question mark, but personally for him to prove his metal as someone who is a bankable electoral leader and also as someone who can lead the BJP in Tamil Nadu in the coming years, because it's not just about this election, it's also about 2026 for the BJP in Tamil Nadu. They are eyeing the assembly elections, they're considering putting out a narrative that they're the alternative from Dravidian politics. And that's where really the alliance break off with the AI DMK is played a big, big role. Remember that that happened bang in the middle of this Yatra Sneha. But despite that, the BJP Central Command did back Anamale. Yes, there was a brief pause of the Yatra soon after, but they did back him 100%. There's no doubt that the breakup with the AIADMK happened simply because the AIADMK leadership said that Anamale has to go. And that's something the Central Command wasn't willing to do because they're grooming him to be kind of the mm -hmm. face of the Tamil Nadu BJP, which is why he's been so aggressive, really, on his attacks on the DMK issues that you don't really see in the political narrative of Tamil Nadu. I'm talking about things like corruption, dynasty politics. It's never really dominated politics in the state. And Anamal is trying to throw light on these issues, which is, yes, a central narrative of the BJP in many states, unheard of in Tamil Nadu, but he's bringing that in. He's ensuring that that seeps into the political agenda and narrative of Tamil Nadu politics as well. How successful is he? It's going to be really seen only in the long run. This is going to be something that the BJP knows will take time for them to actually mm -hmm. make inroads. All right. And to make inroads, they also need allies and that is also work in progress. Thanking you, Akshita, for the moment for getting us those details, pictures of the Prime Minister at the rally. Remember, today is the last day of the Padhyatra that was organized meticulously by Anamalai, the state BJP chief of Tamil Nadu.